Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Long Hop and the Cricket and the Podcast. And uh, it's a pleasure to be talking to you on such a fine day, whichever you've chosen to listen to it, really. Um, going to start off, I came up with a cool question. I've already asked him this, so I can hold him to whether he answers it the same. I was, We were having a little debate whilst we were watching the highlights of the game. Not that we didn't watch it all anyway. Of if you had to pick a batsman and a bowler to cover your whole eleven in the England side, who would you have, Dave? Who would I have? Yeah, yeah. Who you? You're the only person. Jimmy Anderson is my bowler. Right. Jimmy and Brody. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who's the batsman there? I'd have Jimmy and J- Rooty. What would your ratio be? Three, four Jimmys, seven Rooties. Nice, nice, nice. I went for Butler and Wokesy. Bad so choice comment, all comment, round. Comment, comment down below. I mean, my team would wipe the floor. So, uh, welcome to another episode of the of the long hop, the short ball and the big six. And uh, if you want to see what Owen looks like, I've just taken a picture of him, put it on Twitter. There you go. At the Long Hop Cricket Podcast, you'll see a picture of Owen. Not clickbait at all. Like. No, it's like... Um, it's like if you got like the guy who's the lead in Moneyball and crossed him with the guy who's the lead yes. in the Wolf of Wall Street. Well, they can they could just go and <laughs> but <laughs> if they had just a little bit more talent, they can just go and see. And the thing is, I put like a little like you know on pictures where you can like put like little like little, like secret like coding in there. You right. have to. F- oh yeah, nice. You have nice, to follow. Nice. Okay. The long hot l- l- at long hot cricket podcast. Oh, yeah. To then see the picture. Yes. 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 Anyway, today we are. If it doesn't be, come up, there's something wrong with your phone. We, we, we're going to be reviewing the third test match between England and De India in England. Nottingham. In Nottingham. And that's what we're going to be doing. A vital game that. Uh, England are 2 0 up in India a five match series. At least draw to stay in the series at all. Yeah. I mean. I'm well, they England. win, so that's. Oh. People don't come here thinking, yes, they it's not match of the day. Like, yeah, it's just like match of <laughs> the day. People try and avoid the result for as long as possible. Anyway, I've, got, I've got news. Oh, yeah, go on. Mate, have you got any cricket news? I've got this. Oh, okay, nice. You sucking on a sweet whilst trying to do yeah. a podcast. Well, my tonsils are wrecked. Right, what about ketosis? <laughs> um, the sugar's not too bad in that, I've checked. But it doesn't matter. I mean, it's very it's, If it has sugar in it. Right, you suck, you're you're allowed this- some. You are allowed very little sugar, so I don't take sugars in my diet. I had bacon earlier. Right, what's your point? Anyway, <laughs> ketosis isn't needed. What's your point? What's your point? What's your news? We spoke about, and not like long ago, we looked at the county championship tables and we said, oh, I wish they need a couple of vital wins. Yeah. And they've gone and done it. A couple Have of they? Vital, they've moved stuff off bottom now. Town. Now, who's making double hundreds and taking wickets there <laughs> then? Because they need someone to do it. Moeen Ali. Oof. England, England, England. I've always said that guy was one of the best players we had. I I've always said he should be in the team. I should also add that um, England have released the squad for the next test, the fourth test. Yeah? How's it looking? And the the James Vince will come in for a... Uh, on standby for a injured... Bairstow. Bairstow. But Bairstow's... If he's broken his finger, it's not going to heal that quick. They're saying a specialist batsman for Bairstow. But he can't feel. Which might be a blessing in disguise, because imagine Bairstow comes in, stays in, but only as a batsman. But he can't feel. No, no, listen to what I'm saying. Only as a batsman. Gets a, a big double hundred. <laughs> and then Butler gets a hundred as wicket keeper and takes amazing catches. And then we might actually get the change we need. The swapsies. Yeah, but how is he going to field? You can't field with a broken finger. Long on? No. Long like, on? That's a deep, terrible place to put him. Deep mid off. What? Just don't bother any bounces, it'll be fine. Or anything on his legs. What are you. Anyway. Right, should we get into it? Who won the toss, mate? That's what I want to. That's the first thing I'd like to know. Who won the toss and chose the bowl first? Ooh, interesting. It must have been overcast. But really, didn't we didn't actually see them take full advantage? And it did clear up, but. Uh, Could you tell it just. Quickly run through the sides for me, just remind me. England's are unchanged. Oh, with Josh Butler, is he? Oh in no. There? Oh sorry. 
England aren't unchanged. They're not unchanged. I know we got keto, genic diet at the top. What did you rec- reckon about Ben Stokes coming in for Curran? Tom Curran can see himself unlucky there. Ben Stokes comes in after being cleared of prison and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, personally, I think it's absolutely mental. What about you? Well, let, right, ben, ben Stokes is innocent, right? Right. The courts have said that. Okay. Is it a fray he was up for? <laughs> I'm afraid he's innocent. So should the ECB just call him innocent and he can play then? Surely, if he's innocent, he's innocent. The court said he's innocent, right? <laughs> yeah, I knew you so said he's innocent. This. <laughs> <laughs> a smoothie. Listen, I saw the video. Everyone saw the video. If you can do that and have no right, yeah. repercussions, then there would be absolute chaos going on. Okay, but you, let's just put, put that to one side. He <laughs> <laughs> sparked someone out, right? Two of them. And he sparked someone black out. Yeah. <laughs> so Dana oh, White's going to be on the phone. He sparks the one black out, right? Dana White can't now, go around doing that. No, but the you can't are, go around doing that. And then just because you're Ben Stokes, you're going, well, you're fine. Well, then what should if he, I did that, I would right, be stop, going to prison. Stop. What should ECB do then? Well, actually, no. The court, what we're going to say is the court law has miscarried, misjustice no, of law. Go, no, that's, that's fine. What do, what do we, the ECB do then? We, we're going to suspend you. But he was found innocent. Of what? A fray. Right. Well, I'm finding you guilty of punching someone in the face and knocking them out outside of a nightclub. That's what I'm... I, I, I've seen it. You said you were there, you did it, people saw you do it. I don't want that person representing England Cricket Apparently Club. Apparently he did it because the bloke... England Cricket Club. <laughs> <laughs> the bloke said that the... Which East bloke? The, the bloke who got knocked yeah. out, right? He said to Stokes, are oh, the ECB a rubbish... They're idiots, but you do you couldn't do nothing about it. And he's like, I will. I'll back the ECB. <laughs> I'll do this. What about you? What, what do you think about it? He's like, he's battered someone, right? Mm-hmm. And that's terrible. Mm-hmm. And he should be one. I, there should be some sort of justice, <laughs> whether it's not Batman. <laughs> I don't know. Was he charged with anything? No. Not like a little no. bit. I think no, he's, he's fine. He's welcome to go out I'm and not get sure pissed again. I'm not sure he's fine. I think he was, wasn't he just innocent of a fray? Right, but he's 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 going to have to do nothing as a repercussion of it. Why well, is he got community service or something? You don't know this, Owen. You're just saying. You're just shaking your head, saying no. You don't no, know. No. 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 Nothing. Nothing. They're giving him medals. <laughs> <laughs> the ECB made a massive mistake early on. By t- saying you, you can't play the team, and then he came back. He should have not been able to play to the team up until he was found not guilty. Yes, and I agree the ECB with that. should have said, "Right, we're going to slap this on you now. You're not guilty, but we're still not happy with yeah, what exactly, you've done. Your behavior. You're going to miss the next six months. Just, so just, what? Six months might be a bit too like hard. You'll miss the next five tests. Just like they punish someone for doing something that's completely not against the law, like not turning up for training. Do you know what I mean? You can still punish stuff. If people so don't I break would, the law, it's different. It's, I don't know. I it's think it's a sports team. But I don't want people going out, getting mashed, and knocking people out, and then turning up and playing for my team. Well, I, I think when we look at it, we're quite. I'm not. I'm completely with you on this one, right? I right. say he shouldn't have played in the team. He should only be eligible to play for the team as of whenever that came out. Is not guilty, right? Yeah. And then the ECB said, "No, you're not. You've got another five, six test matches down." Yeah. That's what I would. That's. What, but then I think a lot of people would say it was harsh. Because we all, if we take this back to the sandpaper incident, so many people were coming out and saying what those guys got was really harsh. And we were like, no, we lads should have three years slapped Yeah, I don't on. mean that's harsh. So I think maybe we, we're a little bit, compared to most, we're a little bit tough on players. Maybe. But he's found not guilty, right? And obviously the ECB is saying he can play. Do you think it's... What do you do about Tom Curran? Well, that, that's that's the other thing. What is what has he done to move Curran out of his spot? Well, th- I did tweet at, like, at Longcott Podcast. See the picture of Owen. <laughs> da, 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 da. I did tweet saying Curran can be see himself very unlucky not to be in the side. 
and then absolutely. Some, and then Toast Toasty replied saying, uh, "Ham and cheese, fair enough." But surely you want your best players out there, and Ben Stokes is a better player than Curran. On what evidence? On about their careers as of yet. I wouldn't on form. I wouldn't. Well, that's it. Ben Stokes bowled really well at Lords. No, really well in the first test. Sorry, at Birmingham, really well, the best I've seen him bowl in years. Yeah. Like it was top notch. Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously couldn't play the second game. Yeah. But then Curran actually. Batted and bowled really well. I'm surprised that they decided to take Curran. Why didn't they take out a butler who hadn't played? He played okay. He had that 80 in pa- against Pakistan, so maybe not. I would have taken Ollie Pope out. And I'm not, I don't mean to be harsh on the guy who's only played two games. I'd say, mate, actually, you're the first one. You're the last one in, the first one out. So it's- how would that work? You take Pope out, Johnny goes up, everyone just moves up one? Potentially, or... If they really don't want Johnny Bairstow to bat four, let Butler bat four. four. Oh, okay. And then, because you've... I don't know, that's looking a bit taily then, isn't it? But Wokes, Rash, and Curran, Curran are all could bat. really good. And Curran's probably... Be, well, Wokes got 100 in his last game. Yeah. Curran's made a couple of 50s. I actually think taking out Curran for Stokes was giving off the wrong message. And <laughs> yeah. I, Maybe taking Pope out would be giving off the wrong message, but I just think you've got to say, do you know what? Curran's done, he's had two games, he's taken it by yeah. the, the ball by the horns, right? He's done exceptionally well with both bat and ball. And also, he's a swing bowler with a left a left armour who's actually been bowling pretty quick. Yeah. 85, 86 miles per hour. And bowling full. We need something like that because we haven't got that. We've, we've got the very samey bowlers. I think we're a... Uh... Playing the same tune, mate. I think Ben Stokes should have come back in the team if the ECB weren't going to go and go on and do something else, right? So he's back. That's fine by me. If the ECB are not going to take any more action, that is fine. He can come back, straight back in the team. But not f- for a Curran who's playing out of his skin. Yeah. But I think that's that's bad selection. Yeah, and me too. I even tweeted saying maybe Butler should have gone. Obviously, Butler does really well in this game. Yeah, but... If you, I mean, you got to go on form, haven't you? Yeah, to and Curran, in you're, you know, there's a saying, you're only as good as your last game. I know that's a little bit blasé, but Curran's played, done really, really well this summer. Yeah. So, yeah, he's very unlucky. And I don't know if India make any choices because I've just spent 12 minutes ranting about that. Ben Stokes is an angry man. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> India. Make 329 all out. In their first innings, a good first innings for someone for a team that have been put in, really, isn't it? Yes, is England. I don't know. They didn't bowl. You know, they only picked up their first wicket in the nineteenth over, and that's not ideal for putting a team in. I think India. Darwin and Raul look good. To yeah, start, are starting start to get their stuff together with the with. They've certainly turned with, it around with this game. The, the way they're batting. Yes. Yeah. With their short shot selection. And they just look a little bit more compact. They still play some sort of wavy drives every now and then. Well, look at England. They're doing the same. Yeah, but but they're looking a they're looking like they're starting to figure it out, which doesn't look good for the rest of the series. Cause England watching the highlights and that ball was moving. Wokes yep. got it to start. He was getting it to nip around and was really dangerous. Took the first, you know, took the top three. Brody was getting the ball to move around. Jimmy always does. And they've managed to get over 300. I think they did well. Yeah, I think they did. I think actually England were a little bit naive. Maybe they thought they would roll India over again. Yeah. And India did apply themselves. Darwin 35, Raul 23, Kolia 97, Rahane. He really well. Rahane. I, I, did, I thought Rahane looked like he could do it. In the last few games, which just has never really got going, 81. And that was enough to get India over 329 all out. Um, good to see Cody not go on and make 100. Good ball by Rache. Yeah. Uh, He'd, I think Cody was finding himself unlucky to edge Adil Rashid on 97. That but was, it was a good ball. It wasn't, there. it wasn't a peach, you know. Cody made a mistake of flashing drive. Yeah. I think that's how uh, I know P 
people got bold and stuff, but the majority of sort of the co- the catches and stuff are just when batsmen are just playing sort of when it's outside the corridor of uncertainty. Yeah, well, just, just like how Brody got just too behind. far outside off stump, and they still go at it. Yeah, but, but good bowling, good bowling. But I think India played properly and batted well. They certainly had a very good first, didn't they? With three hundred for six at the end of the close of play. But England did get the act together on the second day morning where Stuart Broad came in and took out Pant and Ashwin and then Jimmy Anderson saw off Shami and Bumrah. But 3-2-9, is that above par on that pitch or about par? I think that's quite a good score. I think maybe 30, 40 runs, 50 I, runs above par. I think if you get over 300 the way it was playing, I think that's a good score. And did you like... Did you? We've seen Darwin and Raul, neither of them going to make massive runs as of yet. Did you like the way that they opened they, up? They, it's weird because they, they look... They were put in. They look proper. Yeah, they, did, they yeah. look proper. And they, you know, a 35 and a 23, it's not great. And they haven't really done anything brilliant yeah. as of yet. But what, what? they don't look like they're a concern. It doesn't look like they don't know what they're doing or... You know, they don't look out of their depth like they can't play at that standard. Before this series started, I said, I don't know if England are going to find a way to get Coley out. Yeah. How are England because I'm going to get Coley out? Because I think if Coley does make no if he doesn't make a run, then India don't make a run. I'm, that's a bit blase, but I do think he's the glue for that oh, India the, side. He's like one of the best batsmen in the world. So that's just, if he was in the England team, you'd say that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's that. I think, I think honestly, I think if he's not there to anchor, you know, uh, part he's definitely of the, the talent. He's definitely comfortably their best batsman. And I think he's that kind of that glue that's at one end saying, "Do you know what? Nothing's going to get past me." Yeah, they will get me. Okay, ninety-seven runs on and Rash gets him out. But how are England going to get him out? Because we saw, did we see Stokes come over the wicket at one point in the second innings against them? We saw what, come round the wicket. Yeah, come round the right, wicket. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, we've seen lots of balls bowled straight. I've actually got some really good stats. I'm going to find. I might. You, if you, it's interesting because like bat- Jamie to find them for me. Yeah, I think he. The reason he is so hard to get out. He obviously his technique is very very good, and he's starting to look better with how he bats. Is looking better for English conditions. But I think the difference between him and sort of the batsmen who are just behind him, I think it's just his mentality. So like how he properly values his wicket yes. and really badly wants to win and always puts it on himself to go out and win and get a good score. Whereas I think other people have like the tendency to to put that on other people. Of hoping that other people <laughs> other people do well but then how are England going to get him out how are England going to get him out good question well that's the thing with someone who's world class it's really really hard I'd need to I don't know I'd need to spend a lot of time analysing how he bats I I, I don't think I don't think there's a, there's somebody he can't play he's not he's not a player I'd, I want to chat to I wouldn't want to try and get get him rolled up no I think you just uh I don't think he just play better. I think. I don't think he's going to play a shot in anger either. Kind I of think way. he likes likes a bit of a fight, doesn't he? Um, in the first Test match, Jimmy Anderson seemed to have something over him, but he couldn't get him out. But Curly was certainly. Um, I, don't, I don't know if there's anything he's terrible at face. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what the what we should do is the media should just make something up. Just go through his whole career. Yeah, yeah. Look at some stat like he can't face right arm round bowling at 72 miles an hour he's got out four times to it and just put that in like, oh he can't do it he's terrible at it and then we need to get him out once with that way of bowling yeah and then just pound that and just yeah, can drill I, it into that, him that, that he can't that, do that's it. what happened with Stuart Broad that's what happened with Stuart Broad <laughs> that's what happened with KP happens with all that's what happens with Cookie we're so we're about to go on to England's First innings. If, mm-hmm. like, if there's anything else, did you want to? No, no, mate. That? Go, go for it. So England wrap up the tail pretty quickly, and you're thinking the momentum will be with England in their first innings. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, bowled out to a, for 161 all out. 
160 odd behind India. KP came out and said something interesting on Twitter. Not interesting, ridiculous. Oh right, okay. Well, I thought you that might. That is interesting, though, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you'd might like they it. Cross over. He said England's biggest, or it was. I am commenting about something about the middle order batting, which he should be no, in. Something uh, like no, that. No, no, not him. Actually, he oh, wasn't right, saying he okay. should be in there. I'm okay. I'm probably gonna not quote this word by word, so the context will still be there. I'm hoping. Yeah. It, uh, the big problem England have had with their batting, and the reason why it's gone down the swanny a bit is because they haven't got Ian Bell in the team. And he said something like, you need an old head with young boys and things like that. Right. Those two must kiss each other every well, night before li- bed. Li- <laughs> well, yeah. Do they live next door to each other and he just pops over and says, good night, Kev. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. They, they love each other, don't they, those two? Belly's come out and said he wants to play, still play, play test match. I like Belly. Listen. But we've got Pope now. He looks just like him. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Please. We don't... I don't know if KP just doesn't know anyone else. Why doesn't he spend No, his he time? does know people. That's the only person that likes him, though. Right. But we he needs. We need to move on now. You know? We want someone who bowls over 90 miles an hour, but I don't want to bring back Freddie. <laughs> do, do, do you know what I mean? It's or like, like Darren Goff, to, yeah. That yeah one we <laughs> need to find someone else. We need to find someone else. Okay. No, I, 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 we, that's silly. I found this stat. In the last 12 months, England's average totals in test matches and ODIs batting first are tests 287, average of 287 batting first. Yeah, that's bad. Well, ODIs are 302. That's good. Batting first. So that's being put into bat or you choosing to bat. Yes. But that's different though, isn't it? Yeah. If you're put into bat, it's not good to bat. Whereas if you choose to bat first, it's good to bat. But they couldn't have done that with... They couldn't have just said, oh, because England would have chased some low scores and that would have brought the average down. No, yeah, ODIs. I know what yeah. you're saying, but I'm just saying that that, sat, that initially sounds like I, when you choose to bat first. Average, but, though, Owen. No, no, it's not good. 287 isn't good. I'm just saying that some of them will be when you're put into bat where it's more difficult. Yeah, 287 ain't great, but England get bowled out for some... Terribly small scores, which will have it down. That doesn't surprise me. I, I reckon I'd have got close to that if you'd have asked me to guess. I don't think I'd have guessed over three hundred. No, I know, but I, I'm not sure. It's um, I'm not sure that's what <laughs> we. It's not a surprise to England fans. I'm not fucking going. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> I watched uh well I did I try I, I watched a bit of Wolf of Wall Street today and then I went took, went took the dog to out. Tell people because you're just whapping stuff up on the telly. Well, I you like Jamie and he's just going <laughs> off the chain doing random stuff and no one can see it. So I've what I did there to you put up a picture of Ben Stokes but his face replaced <laughs> as the sketch of him in court. You put up a picture of the Wolf of Wall Street when he walks out with his arms up in front of everyone, Jack, but Jack Grealish's face put on there instead. These are the, the, all things you can see on the Long Hop Cricket Podcast Twitter, but I... Um, you don't put Villa stuff on the Long Hop... Wh- I do. You better put some toffee stuff up there as well. Villa, Villa, <laughs> Villa. I am a toffee till I die. <laughs> um, That's where I'm from. I'm a Darren Till and I'm a toffee fan. I'm a Tilly fan. You're not a Tilly fan. <laughs> Um, you don't even know who he is. The Tilster. You know, we went to school with someone called the Tilster, and you went to the pub with someone called Tilly. You know so. nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing about Darren. I ain't talking about golf. Right. Where were we? Right. We were in England's uh, first innings where we we're did talking very about how England can't get above two hundred eighty. Well, the average is two hundred eighty-seven. Ching Pope's time is up, or do you think? Here's a question for you. Yeah. What's going to keep... If he stays in the side... Who, who's this, Pope? Yeah. yeah. If he stays in the side, is it the selectors giving him time or is it that we've got no one to replace we him? We have got... Right. Pope. Now, I don't want people to jump down my throat and I don't want you to do this either, okay? Right. So this is what I'm going to say. Pope's a very young talent and I did that big monologue in the last episode saying they're batting out of position. He's a young lad. They're burying him, right? Yeah. There's a player that bats number three for his county. He's just got a double hundred. Hick. No. 
And he, he has batted for England and he's done well for England. Same county though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Moeen Ali, treat him as Solid a batsman. Era. He he could bat four no problem, right? Even international cricket, he could bat four no problem. Okay. Say to him, you are just a batsman. So do- let me get this straight. You want to bring back a player no, who, don't has done, do this. who has done badly no. batting at eight when he is a no. top order batsman, but you want to bring him back in the position he was meant to play in. Moen Ali. Is that what you're telling me? Is, yes. <laughs> Moen Ali is a class actor. Right? No, I'm saying it makes total sense. It was a sarcastic... <laughs> Moen Ali he should was... never be batting anywhere than than where he should bat. Yeah, Moen That's Ali obvious. was treated, was said you can have a hitting rain, counter attacking player, or try you realise and... he's never going to come back unless he bats like eight. They will never bat That's him ridiculous. in the top five. Then why are we playing a twenty year old when we know Moen Ali can do it? Yeah, and Moen Ali, I said on last episode, Pope's never batted four before, right? Yeah, batted five or six. Moen Ali bats three for his county, so he knows what the new ball's like. He has played well, and we know he can do it at test cricket. To be fair... Let him play it for number four, yeah. five, whatever it is. Number four... I'd prefer to he, see him at four than three. Yeah, I, I think three should be Joe Root's place. Yeah. And I'm not getting down Pope's throat and saying he's a bad player or anything. I just think he's a... I'm, he's a, a, he's, I'm a little bit like, of a Joe's here. He he's a bit too young, and I don't think is he 21. Yeah, right. So it's not he's not even old enough to make a judgment as to whether he's any good or not. Do you even, know what I'm saying? He's not even old enough to buy a beer. Well, he is, but <laughs> in some places of the world, no, he is. But my point is, where where are you not allowed to buy a beer at the age of 21? There's gonna be somewhere, isn't there? No, there <laughs> isn't. <laughs> right. But what I'm saying is, is Jamie, get it up. He's not old enough to you even. Make a comment yeah. on whether he's good or not. Yeah, no. anything has other games. Just, I, I, like I, he's got so he could have another four years and come back into the team, and he's still like at the start of his career. I do think Pope hasn't had, did it have the greatest of tests. Do you think he'll keep his spot? He'll have at least the next two tests. You, do you think they'll keep him for the rest of the series? Yeah, first series, no doubt. Yeah. All right. Okay. Absolutely well, no I, w- I would like to see that because that's long enough. Then there are two batsmen at the top of the innings, which. Getting a lot of talk about at the moment, who might not keep their spot, Owen. Mm. And that is Cook and Jennings. Where do you want to start, Cook or Jennings? I think Jennings well, will, you, will you be the longer repl- chat from both of us, won't it? So we should start with Jennings. You can't replace Cook, can you? We'll talk about Cook in a second, okay? Not, you, no, well, no, no, no. If Cook's quicker, let's get the quicker one done. Okay, first. you want to get Cookie out? Let's get that done. If it's quicker, people are coming you can, out. <laughs> you can't get rid of Cook. People are coming out and saying, perhaps it's Cook's time. Right. Actually, watching Cook in the last three test matches, he actually looks good up until twenty. He looks good up until ten, fifteen, twenty, whatever it is. Right. He doesn't look. He doesn't look a bad player. He looks a player. Well, we know he's not a bad player. I mean, like he doesn't look like a player that's falling over. Yeah, right. Actually, okay. some of his shots have been really good. Better than he played against Pakistan. Okay. What? 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 What's your point? Um, we haven't got any openers right at all. Yes. We haven't even got one opener, let alone two, to come in and replace these two boys. Okay. We don't have a we don't we don't have a guaranteed opener who's going to do well. There's no Andrew Slice, there's no Treskothic out there. There is Tresco, but we haven't got a player that can come in and we know can We've do got really well. Someone who's done all right when they've played. Yeah. Okay. We'll get on to that. Right. So Cook, I'm saying it to Cook, right? Cook chooses when he leaves this England side at this moment. Mm-hmm. If Hasid Hamid plays out of his skin for the next year and does really well, then he could be better on the door. Yeah. And if Stoneman, let's say Stoneman comes in for that, he doesn't. Comes in for the fifth game. Right. Because Dave said Jennings it will stay for what, the fourth. Yeah, what, whatever. Stoneman can keep... But then if Jennings plays exceptionally well in the next year, he could be back. He could <laughs> okay. be knocking on <laughs> yeah. Cookie's What's your point? What's the door? deal? What, what, Cook hit. should choose when he leaves his team unless someone's really battering down the door to come in the team. Don't just take him out because he isn't doing very well like we, we have with other players. afford to be looking for two openers. It's not even we can't. Af- yeah, we, we just, haven't. It got can't him. happen. You just. It's fine. Cook has played well enough for long enough to prove that at some point he's going to do well. At the moment, we don't have someone else who we know if we leave for long enough, they're going to do really well. So I don't want to be juggling two, but swapping two opening batsmen. But what about if? What would you say if nightmare. Cook comes out and says, "I've had enough now"? But then you you can't keep him in the side if he wants to go. Yeah, I know. But uh, do you? You'll then, say then you've got to have two and leave them for quite a while, yeah, I think. Yeah, okay. Then you've got to pick your two then. 
But then I think even if Cook says comes out after the fifth game and says that was my last game, I still think you know. Do you remember when Alistair Cook fine. started playing for England as the opener? Two thousand and five, two thousand and six. He had quite a while. He did really well at the start. Yeah. Scored loads of runs, and then he went through like two thousand and nine. He played badly in that Ashes. He had a stretch of playing yeah, pretty did, yeah. badly. I think it was about eighteen months. Right. Yeah. But they just kept him in Strauss. Yeah. They just kept him in Strauss. It's different though, isn't it? Why? Because Alistair Cook and Strauss well, are and top class batsmen. Yeah, but you're saying that at the end of both of their careers. But the problem is, is that Alistair Cook at the very start made loads of hundreds. So there was proof he could play and then went into the bad form. Yeah. yeah. He didn't start yeah. badly, which right. every other opener who's come in has. But I think you need a partnership at the top more than anywhere else. Well, let's talk about Jennings then. Yeah. Is, this is stint has proven he's not good enough, I think. Is this, is this buried? Oh, I don't want to say the word buried because I don't think Jennings no, is good enough. No, it's not buried him, but it's proven at the moment he's not good enough. Because be Jennings, Jennings will have four Franklin. games. He, he's he's in the side for the next yeah, test, right? he had a stint before. He did yeah. terribly. Like really and I, I came up with that ridiculous stat that he averages 16 against Paceman. Yeah. And so, and he, yeah, as an opener. And he's and then he's coming in and he's not done well again. I, I don't f- even know why he came in this time. I don't know why they changed it again. I don't think there was any need to change it We again. went through that. We've done that, right? We've yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You brought in someone who did badly. I think... Swapped it's, it when he didn't need to, and they've done badly. Again. I've got to. If Jennings doesn't make a hundred, and all, this is honest truth, uh-huh. uh, it's hard. If he makes fifty, or stay in the team. If he doesn't make a hundred in the next two tests, if he doesn't make. If he doesn't make, a are sco- they guaranteed he's playing the next one? Yeah. If he doesn't yeah. make, if he doesn't make a score of fifty plus in the next test, he's out. If he doesn't, and if he does, and if he doesn't make a hundred in the next two tests, he's out anyway. That's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. I need a hundred from you. I need to show that you can play against pace bowlers. It's hard to drop him if he gets a 50. But then I'm saying you've still got to make 100 for you to get on the plane for, for the winter. So if, say, in the next test match, he gets 50 and then like he has a 50 and a 30. He has another go. And then he goes again and gets another 50 and a 30. Mm. You get rid of him. Mm. I don't think you can get rid of him if he does that. Because that's showing some sort of form like he that's can, he can tough, do yeah, it. That's tough. Yeah, fair enough. I do think Jenny. I don't really care about getting, like, 100s would be great. I just want some evidence that you can play in that position so we can leave you. Yeah. I want I want more consistent well, 30, 40, 50s no. than 100 and getting... Well, Jennings is the exactly. prior example of the 100. So I, I, I want... But I do think that evidence, right, is... That evidence is 100, isn't it? No, I don't think so. I think if you're getting 100... I don't want 100 every 12 test matches. No, of course. That's you want 100 every four or five? Innings. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jennings' time's up. It would be for me if I was the England selector. Joe Root, you said this was not out. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, not this one. Yeah, it was the it first one. It was Coley who caught him. No, Joe Root caught Raul. It was Coley who took the catch. You're thinking of someone else. He was caught by... No, Joe Root, first innings, you're saying it was not out. Oh, we just watched the highlights. I was certain it was Coley who took the catch. Like or was it just Coley who was celebrating after? Yeah, it was Coley. The, right. No, it definitely wasn't out. So what's the deal? We, we watched the replay. You can see the ball bounce. I, sh- I called it full motion when we were watching the highlights. So I said that's bounced. You can tell it's bounced. The way they take the catch, it's bounced. He knows it's bounced. You always do when you take a catch. They watch it on the telly. You see it bounce and they give it out. So when Joe Root's out for 86 for four at that point, odd one with it, because if it goes upstairs, normally it goes with the batsman. And it did look like it bounced to me. It did. That, that was one of those ones. It did. <laughs> that looked more obvious not out than some of the ones that you see given not yeah, out anyway. Yeah, absolutely. But I think they've started going the other way with that. Because of the pressure of... Yeah, yeah, yeah because the, the, um, the people always complain, don't they? Saying, oh, it always goes against them and people know when they've taken the catch and all of that. That bounced, and the person who took the catch knows it bounced. So I think that's just pressure to give those out as to why that was. I can't think of any other reason because it was definitely not out. So England have had 61 innings in test matches since the beginning of 2016. 
They've been 100 for four or worse in 30 of them. So in half of them, we're normally 100 for four. Yeah, that's two wickets too many. Yeah. And there was, that was the same as uh, in the first innings. Eight, they are 86 for four, which goes 108 for five when Stokes goes. And how long do you think it is before we're starting asking questions about Root? Because like, if he'd come it, in over the last year, there'd be real questions over whether he stays in the he team made, or not. He made an 80 in, what was it, the game, the first game or the second game? Right. So he's, so he's, he, he's got a score on him. The thing is, though, Joe, I think people, Joe Root has been very, his average in the last 12 months has been like 50. Yeah, he has got a lot of 50s. It's because he actually, he hits his average. He isn't a player that goes on and makes hundreds. Or, he should be, but he hasn't recently. So I think that's. I think we kind of tie him with that brush saying he hasn't done very well because he's not making hundreds. I think that's a bit unfair. Well, he's definitely dropped out of the best batsman in the world, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, because he's, he's he, nowhere near he, that anymore. He's not converting. He's nowhere near. Nowhere he's, near it. And Steve Smith, right? Mm-hmm. He's the best batsman in the world at the moment. Yeah, I know. I don't, he can't be. Well, I think we spoke about that yeah. many times before on this podcast. England end up finding themselves 118 for seven when Wokes goes. Wokes gets done with a short, the first short ball of the. Who game. was the uh, Indian bowler who took the five for? Didn't Pandya. he take? Pandya, and didn't he's he terrible. Take, take it in like we can't say that when no. he takes five wickets. He's a bad bowler. I don't didn't know, what, I don't know why he's like getting five for. Sixteen balls or something. Well, he's he was got mental. He took it was just a massive collapse. Just looking at the scorecard, he's picked up uh, off at least six overs. That's Crazy. incredible. Uh, the only person who adds any resistance down the back end of the innings is Dross Butler as a bit of a hit out towards the end. Yeah. 161 He's He's out. what England wanted Moen to do. But Moen did, Moen has done that. No, but Butler's doing it more consistently. Mm, but Butler's just doing, I'm not with you on that one. Butler is definitely getting scores more consistently than Moen But Butler hasn't Alley. played anywhere near as many games as Moen did. No, but Moen is at no point in his England career did it this consistently. But Butler's played. It's hard to say consistency when he's played five games. But Moen never put a string of five games together this good. I've seen. He him do put it. like a, a summer together where yeah, he got one hundred. No, I've I've definitely not. When England were winning games, definitely not. because they lower order. Moen Ali was doing really well. Definitely not. I just feel like you're being a bit. No, no, I'm not. No, no. Mo and Ali, Mo and Ali has got, put on. A, Mo and Ali got like in his time of playing for England, got like three good hundreds that saved England, he's, and yeah. then like a couple of fifties. More than a couple of fifties. Can 50s. we get get his thing up? Is right. England? Uh, you need to yeah, ask, ask somebody. I just want to, to have a look at how many fifties he actually got. You can ask Jamie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jamie. Um, Mo and Ali, Test match. Oh, you know, all his stats and that. You know what I mean? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Moeen Ali. All right. Jamie just searching some weird stuff here. Moeen Ali's with Shafon puts his name back in the England frame. Definitely does. My big, big old Mo. Here we go. ESPN. Just little. Here we go. Little plug there. <laughs> Average of 32 with 1250s and 500s, Owen. High score of 155 not out. Against Sri Lanka. Uh, 85 innings. I think if Butler had that many, he'd do better. Well, I think it's not. I think, but I think Mo was back in a different position to Butler. The, that's my point. Is that Butler is the player that England want to be in? Like he's the actual player that fits that position. Yeah, and I'm I'm all f- I'm a big Butler fan. I'm all for Butler being in the team. I know I said perhaps he was one of the people to go for Stokes, but I'm a, I've always been a big Butler fan, and I think he actually I'm gonna put my no. This is quite a safe thing to say. Butler has been the only batting positive, the only batsman to come into the team since Joe Root's been a captain, and it's worked. Yeah, yeah, you can't really argue with that. Can you? There's, <laughs> there's nothing. No, what about um, Curran? <laughs> no, there's no argument. You can't. Yeah, there's nothing else to. Uh, 
So let's move on to India's second innings. They currently would have a lead of 160 yards. That's such a great position to come. We're to, to winning, come out yeah. To it's got very hard to drag that back. India makes 352 for seven. This time, Kohli does go on and make the 100. Yeah, batted very well. And we see... That England, the India top five batted well in they that did, yeah. second innings. Pajaru, who hasn't made runs on this tour yet, made a good 72. They just confirmed England's defeat, didn't they? Again, Darwin and Raul get off to a very good start. They are backed up by Pajara, and of course, Kohli goes on and makes 103. It's not that England were bowling terribly. I don't think Pandya should... Be, Pandya's had a really good game, and he's actually subpar as a player. It's harsh, I know. And when I do get a job in the media, I'm going to have to ask <laughs> these questions to him, and he's, I'm going to be happy. But England... Well, if it's up to you, you won't be there by the time you make it. I thought, the, <laughs> I thought the bowling, actually, was slightly more expensive than we normally see from an England side. But not the worst bowling you're going to see. I honestly think India are starting to figure it out. India have had a very, very good game. We'll see in the next test match, but I think India are starting to sort themselves out with how to bat in England. Do you like the look of Pajara? That top five of Darwin, Raul, Pajara, Kohli and Rahan. I said before before the test started that I like their, their top order, the, their batting order. I think it's a strong batting lineup. I know it hasn't done well in the first first couple I think it's a strong batting lineup, and I think we'll see that for the last two test matches in the series I think they're starting to sort themselves out yeah and that could be the difference in the last two because England's top order looks a bit of a mess mm, interesting so no wickets for Brody a wicket for Wokes two for Stokes three for Rash and one for Anderson let's talk about Adil Rashid then Actually, as a spinner, not done that too too badly when no. he's been caught upon. No, he's not doing badly. He seems to be bowling a bit more loopy, I think. And he does still good. bowl because you got to you got to you got to flight it, and I think that prevents the massive drag downs that he gets every now and then. He does still bowl those drag downs, but they're less frequent than when we saw in. It, when it in used India. to be like at least an one and over every it four balls. Te- yeah, every terrible. four or five balls there'll terrible. be a, a four ball. There, it's weird that he's got picked, isn't it? That's a weird one. He's fine. just like Butler. That was a weird pick as I, well. I when think, they I think Rush's in. pick was weirder. Yeah, but it's starting to pay off. I think fair enough to should Ed we just Smith, pick is it? off twenty twenty four? Do you think that's yeah. how we should do it? So who would who's could be an opener? Who's doing well opening in twenty twenty English player? You know, Royal Hales, Bairstow, Butler sometimes yeah, put, opens, doesn't put, he? Put Bairstow up there with the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to have um, uh, you'd have yeah. to have Chris Jordan in the bowling lineup. You wouldn't yes. like that, would you? No, that'd be good. <laughs> David Willey, David left Willey, armor. left armor, another lefty. No need for Brody and Stoke. Brody, uh, Brody and day, uh, Anderson. Brody's just starting to play well now, and he just to keep himself in the team again for a couple of years. <laughs> good old KP. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's have a look at the England. He is the KP of bowling. But and we spoke about when we were watching the highlights, England's batting. Except I imagine he's much nicer to be around. In the second innings, and the first innings actually, they're not in the right mindset. Pope's shot, he's a young lad, was bad. Root's shot in the second innings was bad. Cook and Jennings, I thought, had good balls. Cook was totally standard. He always gets out like that. Yeah, but... It was a good ball, but he does not, always tend to get out like that. That's he, like his, go, his stock get out. But he... <laughs> Isn't it? He's not f- like okay. I, I feel do feel bad going after Pope, but he's not fla- flailing at one, is he? A ha- like a I half volley. Oh, it wasn't was... a flail. It was a proper shot. It was just you shouldn't play in that situation. It's just inexperience. I think. Yeah, yeah. Just you don't play that shot. But I, you need I to think dig in. I actually want to do a podcast um, just on Pope. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a podcast on England's batting and not about our day and what we know. I want to do one on a rainy batting. day on how it, we need to improve it, right? Yeah. And I think it's a, we'll be doing a real in-depth conversation nice. on this podcast nice. about mentality and batting. Nice. England haven't got that, that mentality of test match batting at the moment. Okay. Well, that's left the that's we left will the team. Need to, you know, explore what that mentality is, so, but that is for a rainy day. So let's talk about what did go well, and that's Stokes and Butler. Yeah. Stokes and Butler, great. Uh, it was interesting. It was 
they said that it was Stoke's slowest 50. And Butler... He tends... To, right. We... What, like, a year ago, we used to have a go at him about just terrible batting mentality. This is the only one in the world, though, that he's come back and actually right. showed us something decent. But I was going to say, when he bats slower, but as in his scoring, when he scores slower, he tends to do better. I know he got that 300 or whatever it was that was crazy, just smashing it all over the place. We're watching Jimmy hit a golf ball into his own face now. <laughs> oh, that... You know that noise you hear? That's not it hitting him in the face, is it? Yeah. The noise is it hitting the tree. Yeah, yeah. Because if that was the noise of it hitting him in the face, it would like knock teeth out. Still hits him pretty hard, doesn't it? Watching Ralph waving. Um, I'm on the Twitter, the Twitter, because yeah. I'm looking for a stat that I pulled up about. Here we go. Josh Butler... Uh, proved that it was wrong by showcasing a level of patience and seen in an England shirt for over three years. His century at Trent Bridge saw him leave 24% of the time. None of the England's last 30 centuries have seen more leaves. See, I don't, that's the me. The professor, that is. That's, that's me. I didn't even need that stat, and I'm already saying it. When he, when he, bats, when he con- bats conservatively, he plays better. But th- that's not... That's better than everyone. That's telling me that there's a thing wrong with the mentality, which we'll get on to at a later date. When but it's raining. It's a, it's a very good knock, 106. That's his maiden test match, 100. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. I think he's, he, made, a he's, of, had, I think he's made a couple of 80s. He's, he's made a couple of 80s as well. He's opportunities to get 100s. But he hasn't had the longest test match career. No, and I, I think he's just cementing his place now. People have come out saying he's one of the most talented players in the England squad. He's definitely talented. Yes, the he stuff is, yeah. he does in twenty twenties is he's absolutely got... mental, and he's he's starting to show it in the Test match arena. It's, it's a good. really good, and I'm really happy with Butler being. It's nice that someone's coming off. Did Butler did have to bat up w- w- one position, so he came in at is that six, yeah, because Johnny Bairstow had to have some time off the field b- yeah. with his uh, broken finger. Uh, he could probably bat six, couldn't he, for England, quite yeah. easily. Seven doesn't... No, it looks really good. What I don't want is us to start changing his role. Yeah. It obviously works. Perhaps he maybe give him the gloves. Oh, no, I don't mean that. I mean his batting yeah, role. Okay. I don't want to change, like, give him some extra thing he doesn't need. And actually, if we're going to talk about mentality, Butler is a player that should really be given a free reign because he's a, a maverick, if you like. Yeah. But he actually said, no, I'm going to play... Yeah, what well, it's, as the, long as it's up to him. I'm going to play. The game is told me to play this way. I'm going to play it. We should give him the KP role or the role that KP thought he had. <laughs> Shouldn't we? Yeah. yeah. Of going, you look at the game and play how However you, you read play. it, play it like yeah. that. Stokes, a very dogged 50. And that's uh, when he, I think that's when he plays his best. Stokes, 50 of 150 balls. Yeah. That's what very was required. Good. But... Okay, those two. It was what? What was it when Butler goes? The score was two hundred thirty-one for f- five, and Butler goes. Yeah, Bairstow goes the very next ball, and then Stokes goes two hundred forty-one for eight. Still another little collapse at the back end of that innings. Rashid makes a thirty. Fair enough. Broadly makes a twenty, but I'm not saying that they should have gone on and made anything of that game, but. I mean, you can't, Rashid, when Rashid and Broad are batting, yeah, the game is done. Yeah, you, they're not doing it. that. So that, that actually, fair play to Rashid for getting 30. Yeah, Because of he course, can yeah. give up a way fast, because the game is done. He's not, well, he's not saving he Just that. like when Butler went, I'm not saying there was ever a chance of England winning or drawing yeah. that game, even with rain about. There was no rain. But I was a little bit disappointed how it kind of, best I went next ball, maybe the injury. Wokes went again for another that short thing ball. they were showing earlier of England being 100 for four. Yeah. That's just our top order is the problem. Yeah, yeah. England's sort of low, middle, lower middle order and tail has actually been doing all right for quite a while. Yeah, well, yeah. Like Wokes, uh, Curran, who's come in, like Bairstow tends to chip in, Butler now. All of that seems to be, sort of, you know, it's all right. Rashid can bat a bit. And I think Stokes it's is... top order. We just find ourselves in so much trouble so quickly we're just giving ourselves too much to do. And in that innings, I would like to say Stokes has probably said why he should be in the team. Mm. 62 of 150 balls. 
He hasn't gone and got a hundred, no. But no, that's well, well, better than anyone else has no, he's, done he's, apart from yeah, Butler. He's 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 good. I just don't think he should have got in the side anyway. But I think I'm not arguing about yeah. his talent. That's not my problem. Uh, Bumra this time, obviously, it's his first game of the series. He gets a fifer. It's such a weird run. It is. It's just a weird action. And his action's weird. And it's, it's all very bizarre. Sharma is taking wickets like they get out of fashion in this series. And I don't he's think he's been around for ages. Isn't and he? He, yeah, and he's not the best bowler, but he look he's looked dangerous. I don't know. He's all right. I've I've really liked the look of uh, Shami. You know, I think he's a player I'd want in my England team. But anyway, I think we'll uh, call it a day there. We got a bit of a a bit of a batter in there. Which is all right, because I said after the last one that it was showing that England were actually the better test team. But I think India are starting to get their batting together. Yeah. So England lose by 203 runs. It's kind of good, isn't it, for a five-match series? We needed India to do something to India, make it, India make it 2-1. Make it yeah. yeah, with two games left to play. So we'll be back for the fourth test. We will. And we'll see you guys there. Yeah. If you've liked this one, hit a like, and comment. The, the bell. Subscribe if you're new. And watch the freaking thing as well. Yeah, watch this space. No. Well, they need to watch the space. The, and Ice the Skies. And the Moneyball. <laughs> and the Moneyball. Money.